Uh, let's move on here. Time for bull market or BS. If the correction is really on the horizon, where can you hide out for profits? Peter Schiff, president of Europe Pacific Capital, author of the little book of bull moves in bear markets, joins us right now. Peter, always a pleasure to speak with you. Uh, today's sell-off, put in perspective for us, this is the beginning of a, of a big correction that we're expecting to happen? Well, you know, the correction was the rally. You know, the question is, has the bear market resumed or are we still going to correct and move higher? You know, I, you never know that in advance. I mean, it's certainly possible. But either way, I, I wouldn't want any part of the U.S. stock market or the U.S. bond market. Nobody's going to make any real money here. Uh, if they want to protect their wealth, if they want to profit, they got to get out of the U.S. They need to invest Where? abroad. Well, you know, I, I like Asia in particular. I think there's a lot of real economic growth going on in the Asian economies. Uh, you know, you just had the election in Japan. Uh, there's a good chance that the new Japanese government is going to move away from the policy of massive subsidies to the U.S. economy. They're not going to keep interest rates at zero. Hey, Peter. Uh, they're not going to, you know, maintain uh, the value of the dollar. So I think you're going to see the Asian world uh, moving away from uh, the business of subsidizing the American economy, and that's going to be to their, bet uh, to their I, I, benefit. I agree with you, Peter, uh, although I would say isn't the concern out of China right now that they have subsidized? I mean, bank lending's coming down. It came down in June. It's come, it came down in July. Uh, it looks as if we've actually seen some stimulus that, like in this country, is not sustainable to really get this economy. Look, I'm a big bull on a with you. I'm, I'm, I'm trying to strike a chord to say, if you don't believe we can get stimulus here that works, why do you believe it will work there? Well, no, I don't think the stimulus is working. I think they'd be better off without it. But the main difference is they can afford the stimulus. They have their own money. I, I think there'd be a better stimulus if they just let the RMB appreciate. Uh, but we don't have any money. We have to borrow our stimulus money from Japan and from China. And the difference is they have a lot of savings. We have none. So, We're Peter, if, you look, at, into if debt. you look at Asia right now, and I understand that you want to be in Asia and not the U.S., though, Asian demand, Asian strength translates into domestically here, technology sector performing very well, the resource sector as well performing well. You oh. would have to see a big breakdown in correlations for our domestic markets not to move higher if well. technology and the resource names do so. Yeah, well, I'm not saying that the, the tech names or the resource names can't outperform the overall market. But I think in general, we have a lot of headwinds here. And I think our market is expensive. I mean, you can find technology stocks trading in Asia uh, that have much lower multiples and much better growth rates than the ones in the United States. The same thing applies for natural resource companies, whether are, they're in Australia, whether they're in Norway, whether they're in Canada. I think you still get better buys abroad. But certainly, you know, I would rather own those types of stocks in the United States than the financials which will, or the retailers or government bonds. But, Peter, then what's wrong with a Joy Global that has that exposure going right over into China? Or what's wrong with some of the tech names that go directly over there where we actually see the books for ourselves and we, we don't think there's any funny business going on as far as the balance sheets? Look, I'm not saying you can't buy those stocks. I just think the valuations are, are higher here. You get more bang for your buck going abroad. And I'm also very afraid of what's going to happen in this economy. Remember, the real economic crisis is in front of us, not behind us. And I don't know what kind of draconian taxes are going to be imposed on whatever American companies are making profits. We can have windfall profit taxes on tech companies, on resource companies. I'm afraid of what this government might do to further undermine the profitability of our companies. So I want to stay away from it. I want to get out of Dodge. All right, Peter, uh, thanks very much for your time and your comments. Peter Schiff of Europe Pacific Capital. The specter of the U.S. government scares another investor away to other shores. There's, there's a lot of unknown. Getting out of Dodge is a very smart investment move, but I, I think that there are some arguments that we're making here on the desk, which is there are, first of all, plenty of U.S. companies that have heavy exposure to the things he's talking about. Absolutely. And also to say that the, the greatest economic crisis is ahead of us as we sit on the anniversary of what occurred last September. That's frightening. That is frightening and not necessarily something that I believe. All right. Uh, speaking of the bears, let's recap our poll of the day because apparently uh, last night's poll of the day, that is, there are a lot of bears out there amongst you. We asked you where the S&P would end September. 44% of you said lower. 22% said much lower. Near 7% said much higher. Nobody apparently agreed with Guy who voted E. <laughs> Much, much, <laughs> much, lower. much, much lower. All right, coming up next, Bears on Parade continues with Fast Money exclusive sound bites from famed doomsayer Nouriel Rubini. Plus, might as well call it drops and drops today. Why American Express, Nokia, E Trade were some of the biggest losers in today's sell off.